Vielen Dank, Herr Abunter Scholz. Next speaker on behalf of the Greens, Madam Harms, for two minutes. Herr Präsident. Mr. President, after having uh, heard Mr. Schultz speak, I would like to say once again that as far as the citizens of the European Union are concerned, it's absolutely fantastic that in our eastern neighborhood, we have states who are keen on uh, looking west and looking to the European Union. Democracy and rule of law in our immediate neighborhood are the best guarantor we could hope for, for continued peace and stability within the EU. And after you've spoken, I'd like to say that in my opinion, the reforms that our partners in the association agreement are signed up to, that in fact they are working under much more difficult conditions than applied to reforms in the Baltic countries or countries of the Warsaw State, um, such as uh, your own, uh, because they had a very clear uh, path to accession. We are not making things easy for our neighbours these days. We're making it more difficult. And they have got a, a, a trickier hand to play. And as chair of Euronest, I would appeal to the summit, don't be petty. Do not underestimate this amazing decision to go forward uh, to democracy and rule of law. Keep the door of the European Union open. Because if those reforms which need to be made go through, fine, but if they don't have the prospect of the EU at the end of it, it'll be much more difficult. And Russia has spared no effort. Putin has worked hard on countering the freely made decisions of these neighboring countries. And it's clear to us that we need to help these states against occupation, against annexation, and against the uh, so-called frozen conflicts. We need to give them some means of countering Putin. Thank you.